So when you offer too much, sometimes it becomes very complicated. And when it becomes very complicated, it can become very overwhelming. Right. And that when it when your business becomes overwhelming, that's when we kind of um lose track of certain things and we get off guard. Right. right? So, first of all, I would keep it simple in the sense that what do I want to specialize in? Right. When parents think of me, so are they thinking of me as a small group trainer or are they thinking of me as a one-to-one -one trainer? Right. So we've got to really specialize what we do. So specialize one-to-one -one or groups. Okay. Now, another thing we can do is if it's just yourself coaching. Well, let me leave that one for now. Before we, before we move on to that is now we need to find a way of getting uh, clients more committed, right? And this is something a lot of trainers we work with at the beginning, they're struggling with, because uh, essentially what they do is they kind of let their clients do whatever they want. It's like, okay, if you can't make it this week, we'll just reschedule for next week, etc. Something I like what you're doing and you're on the right track is charging parents uh, paying up front for the month, right? Yeah. So I like that because essentially if a parent pays up front for the month, the chances are they're going to show up. Yeah. And, you know, if they don't show up, you've been paid. Okay. So something I would transition if you're working with one-to-one -one clients right, is maybe go for three months, okay, up front with a discount. So this might be you charge right, three months up front, but you give them a month for free. Okay, so essentially they're paying two months. Right. Or you give them, I don't know, a 50 pound discount, some some type of discount to incentivize them to commit longer. Right. Now, what we want to do is that I know most parents, if you're telling them to commit to three months, they'll be very hesitant because parents are very busy. Right. And some of them are like, oh, I don't want to commit for so long because I don't know if I'm going to like this coach. But we want to explain to them why we want them to commit up front and for three months, okay? Ultimately, the more a child is training with you, the better they're going to get. If they're just coming once a month or once every three weeks, your training is, is pretty much pointless because they're not getting much out of it, right? So we want to, we want to reassure them that the, the longer the commitment, the more development your child is going to get.